It's his first day. I'm going to turn. Folks, it's alright. It's his first day, so. Is anyone back there? Anyone speaks English? Mic right, check one, two. This thing on? Yeah. Look at how the baby. All right, sit forward and enjoy the tour. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I can see that everyone is excited about what's going on outside the submarine here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the, let, let's just cover one more thing. Does anybody know which side of the submarine is port and which side is starboard? Yeah? The port is the left side as you look forward, right over here. This is the port side. This side of the submarine as you look forward, the right side as you look forward is the starboard side. I will be using those nautical terms today, so if we see anything really exciting, call it out. There's no time for inside voices. If you guys see a sea turtle, a green moray eel, a stink... Yeah. We are looking right out at the Cayman Coral Reef. And isn't it beautiful? Over here on the starboard side, I see a grouper swimming along towards the aft end of the submarine, the larger fish. <laughs> Now most of these little fishes that you see are called grazer fish from the reef. Over, over here visiting us on the starboard side are a couple of mutton snappers. There's another mutton snapper on the starboard side. Yep, they're coming down both sides of the submarine. Mutton snapper. The other surviving member will simply starve itself to death. Isn't that romantic? Yeah? I, I, I don't know. I, I believe there's other fish in the sea, so... I might get hungry, but I'm not going to starve to death. All right, now folks, all of these little fish are called grazer fish because they nibble on the algae of the reef. Now the little black fish we see coming into our view here, those little black fish with the white pinstripes are called black dirgeons. They are members of the trigger fish family. Yes, 40%. The other 60% comes from an unlikely source, the stoplight parrot fish. If there are fish identification cards in front of every viewport, you might be able to see the stoplight parrot fish. They are, the male has a turquoise body with a yellow banded tail, the female howlers. Now here's what happens. Down here at depth, we start losing certain colors of the color spectrum. Now, you'll notice that some of your folks are wearing red clothing. Yeah. Now the shirt. Now what color is it? Purple. Purple. That's right. Why? Because we've lost all of the color spectrums except blue. That's why the ocean looks blue. The water is not blue. It's clear. But it looks blue because as the sunlight comes down here and filters through the layers of seawater, blue is the only color left down here. The only color of light left is blue. They will grind that up with their hardened shark teeth. They'll pass it through their digestive system, and it comes out the other end of the fish is sand. Now, one adult parrot fish can produce up to a pound of sand per day. One fish. So that's why 60% of all the sand you see comes from parrot fish. Are you scared now? Look, there's a lionfish straight down on the starboard side. Lionfish, there's a lionfish with a fish. Those are encrusted orange elephant ear sponges. Now, locally they're known as don't touch. Because if you touch that, you will definitely have pain, vomiting, fever from the stinging cells inside the sponge. You do not want to touch anything down here because the corals and the sponges all have protection against being touched. So very little what? can be touched. Yeah. And in fact, if you it's do touch different. anything down here, you kill that, whatever you touch, you kill that. Whatever you touch, it destroys the mucous membrane covering it. Bacteria gets in and will kill that area. Look at that. <laughs> All right, folks, we're getting ready to go down over the edge of the wall. Are you guys ready? Anybody who doesn't want to go any deeper than this, this is your chance to get off the submarine. We'll leave you here with a dive tank. We're going to open up the after hatch, because I don't want to get wet today. So we're going to open the after hatch, and you can swim out and leave. We'll leave you with a dive tank here, and you can just wait right here in the vicinity, okay? Don't swim away, because we won't be able to find you. Actually, here we go over the world-famous Cayman Wall, folks. Look over here on the starboard side. That is the Davy Jones locker down there, all the way down. See, see how vertical it is? Might not have noticed yet, but we are just crossing 100 feet. Matt, you look nervous. She did not look impressed by 102 feet. Now, what's that, sir? 
what do you say? You tell me to go down. Now, folks, 104 feet. Welcome to what we call the triple digit club. Now, no, this is not like the airplane one. We're not going to mention that. This is a family tour. Now, however, however, this is a romantic moment. If you're with your spouse or your companion, this is the chance to give your spouse or your companion, your girlfriend, a hug and a kiss, especially if they're the same person. Give that person a kiss and a hug because this should very well be the lowest point in your whole relationship right now. <laughs> I know, I know it's the lowest point in my comedy career. Now, remember all the sand we were talking about that the parrotfish produced? The bright reds and the yellows and the oranges. Scuba divers can go down to about 130 feet recreationally. You have to have specialty gear to go deeper than that. Yeah. What's that? Oh yeah, you could come to here. All right, folks, here we have some of those blue Creole wraps and the blue chromos over here on the port side. Are you guys all having fun so far? All right. Now this is definitely not like the ride that they have at Disney in Florida. This is a lot different than that. In fact, all of my old Navy submarine buddies are really jealous of me that I get to do this every day. In fact, as crew of the Atlantis 11, we call this living the dream because it literally is. We get to come down here every day into this world and view it and show you folks this. So. We sure hope you guys enjoy it. Stripes? <laughs> yeah. That's good. What do you got, a bear? What do you got? Barracuda. Look at the size of this barracuda on the port side, right here. Look at the size of this barracuda. That's about eating size, yeah? You guys see it right down low there? Now, you've heard of the barracuda as a uh, man-eater fish, right? A dangerous fish, right? Well, they actually prefer women and children. They don't They don't eat men too often. They're meat softer. Over here on the uh, starboard side, we have a hogfish. And that, that chain over there, that's a chain fish. That's not a chain, that's a chain fish. Actually, that's how we hold the whole island in place. If we didn't hold the island down, it would drift off to Cuba. It's so small. You remember those three white mooring, mooring buoys on the surface? One, that one chain goes all the way up to one of those white tanks, those white buoys on the surface. Look at that thing. Look at the distance over in the forward part there on the port side. Can you guys see it over there? Up front here? Look over the sandy area. Do you guys see it on the port side, right? Straight out there, forward up here. A turtle on the port, on the starboard side. Stingray on one side, turtle on the other. Wow. I don't know what to do, my head is spinning. There's the eagle right straight out on the port. See him over the sand? And I don't see the turtle. What, what kind of... What, what, was he a green turtle or a uh, hawksbill turtle? Oh. If it's still there, we'll see There's a uh, mutton snapper going across there on the starboard side. Yeah. 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 Yeah.